Papa Tom. Good morning. It's mornings with Papa Tom and the Chapin sisters. And we've got some great songs to do today. Shout out for shut ins. And that's our 35th show. My goodness, time flies when you're having fun. Summer time. Hot and hazy, loose and lazy. Summer time. Lying on the ground. Everything that's green is growing. Everybody's lawn needs mowing. Whoops, so it comes tumbling down. Mother Earth's about to change her gown. She loves to change her seasons. It's Mother Earth's routine. Green to brown, brown to white, white back into green. She changes clothes and puts on something clean. This is your part. Soon it's autumn time. Days are cool, it's back to school, it's autumn time. Leaves turn golden brown, birds are starting their migration, flying southward on vacation. Whoops, a snowflake hits your nose. Mother Earth's about to change her clothes. She loves to change her seasons, it's Mother Earth's routine. Green to brown, brown to white, white back into green. She changes clothes and puts on something clean. And it's winter time. Skates and sleds and feather bits, it's winter time. Snow is all around, frosty nose and ears are throbbing. Then one day, hey, look, a robin pulls a worm out of the ground. Mother Earth's about to change her now. And she has reasons for changing seasons. You have to change to grow. You have to change to grow. And so she changes seasons. It's Mother Earth's routine. Green to brown, brown to white, white back into green. She changes clothes and puts on something clean. Whistle. Seasons changing, and they are. It's getting coming into nice, warm. At least here in the Hudson Valley, we got a lot of leaves out now, and some flowers are coming up. It's it's a beautiful time of year. So we're gonna do some songs. That was actually requested by Ali Wild, and uh, so we did that for her and for all of you. Here's a song that that uh, Nancy Kaiser asked for a long time ago, a couple of weeks ago. And I haven't gotten around to it. It's a song that John Foster, who also wrote uh, Mother's Routine. Uh, and he, he and I wrote this together to make fun. It's about maybe your room. It's certainly my room. That's why my wife Bonnie keep, keeps my room in the basement. <laughs> Cause I like my toys when they're nice and neat. But I like them even more all over the floor and underneath my feet. 
Jesse Rue is happiness. Happiness is living in a neat mess. You say happiness is living in a neat mess. Neat mess. Again, happiness is living in a neat mess. Then mom looks in and goes into shock. The voice of doom says, look at this room, clean up this big pen, and mom goes out to an auction sale, buys a butter churn and a broken scale, and a Asian nerd, and a suit of armor, and an antique veil. She's just like me, but won't confess. Happiness is living in a neat mess. You say happiness is living in a neat mess. Then dad shows up with his puzzled look. And he says once more what we've heard before. I see you bought the junkyard. Then dad goes down to his basement shop. He keeps a stack of 30 years of National Geographic and a bumper from the Chevy, not to mention every album of the Boston Pops. It's a natural urge he can't repress. Happiness is living in a neat mess, you say. Happiness is living in a neat mess. yourself. Not only do you get your room in a mess, but sometimes you're playing, especially days like this, if you have a backyard or you have a, if, you, if you're not stuck in an apartment in the city, but you have a little place, we have a backyard here, which is very nice. And you play outside of these beautiful days, and guess what happens? Dirty, 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 look at dirty you. Dirty face, dirty hands, what are we gonna do? I'll run the water nice and warm. You can do a dance out of your shoes and socks and underpants. Bubbling, bubbling in the back. Bubbling, bubbling makes me laugh. Screaming and scrubbing in the nice warm tub. And bubbling, bubbling, bubbling in the Bath, right? Yeah. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling in the bath. The chorus again. Bubbling, bubbling in the bath. Bubbling, bubbling in the bath. Rub a dub dub. Rub a dub dub. Makes me laugh. Screaming and scrubbing. Screaming and scrubbing in a nice warm tub. Bubbling, bubbling, bubbling in the bath. I hear you splish and splash and splash in the water off the floor. Filling up the bathroom, spilling out the door. Rubber duckies everywhere. There's boats and floats and toys. A slippery, sloppy, soapy, happy noise. Bubbling, bubbling in the bath. Dub, dub, makes me laugh. Screaming and scrubbing. In a nice warm tub and bubbling, bubbling, bubbling in the bath. You say bubbling, bubbling, bubbling in the bath. Look out, she's got. 
got a wash. Look out, she's got shampoo. Look out, she'll scrub your ears and soak your hair before she's through. Better close your eyes and hold your nose. Here comes the worst of all. She'll rinse your head under a waterfall. No! Swish and splash it. Soon. Look at you all squeaky clean and the same. Look at you all dripping wet, wrinkle like a prune. Ah, you're no, you're so nice and squeaky clean. I'll dry you off and then tomorrow you'll get dirty and we'll do it all again. But we rub it in the bath, rub it up, dub. In Willa take a bath together, they want to see the swirl at the end. When the war, the little eddy that goes down, look at the swirl. Here comes the swirl, bubbling in the bath. Well, you know, we had a lot of birthdays since people we asked us to say birthdays. There's three people who are turning 21 this weekend. Allie Weil asked us to shout out to Meredith Steck, who was born, who was born on May 3rd, and, and Joanna Wilde, who was born on May 5th tomorrow. And they met to, together 21 years ago in the same hospital. They were born in the same hospital. And the mother's- In the same room, I In the same, well, they're roommates. They're roommates. They're roommates 21 years ago, and they're friends still today. So that's really cool. Happy birthday to you guys. And Pamela Clark wants a shout out to her daughter, Chloe, who turns 21 today. So that's really great. And I want to shout out to my friend, Kiki Wolf, whose birthday was yesterday. Kiki Wolf, whose birthday was yesterday. And let's sing a happy birthday to those folks. This is a happy birthday song. This is our happy birthday song. Happy birthday, happy birthday, we love you. Happy birthday, and may all your dreams come true. When you love the candles, one life stays a glow. Is the love light in your eyes wherever you go? If you guys know this song, you can sing it with us and you can sway. It's a good swaying song. Go back and forth. Ready? Happy birthday, happy birthday, we love you. This boat is swaying. Happy birthday, and may all your dreams come. You blow out the candles, one my stays ago. It's the love light in your eyes wherever you go. Happy birthday, everybody. It's a good birthday song. And uh, we want to give a shout out, actually, to, uh, but we'll do that in a minute. Somebody else had a birthday this weekend. <laughs> Mother Earth's birthday last week, so let's sing on that. This for Mother Earth. This pretty planet, spinning through space. You're a garden, you're a harbor, you're a holy place. Golden sun. Golden sun going down. Gentle blue giant, spin us around. All through the night. Sun going 
song of the banjo and, and actually this next song was written by one of my great heroes whose birthday was may 3rd on sunday yesterday he would have been 101 if he was still with us and in some ways he is because the songs he wrote the songs he sung and all the things he taught us we're gonna do a couple of songs that that we learned from him <laughs> and this actually fits along with of course this pretty planet because it's a song about the environment I think it's 1963, 64. Let me tune this up a little bit. This long neck banjo, which Pete Seeger, one, one year, he had a song that, that uh, he had a really good, good part for that song in, in, a, in his line of banjo on the key of C, like that. And yet, it was too high for him to sing. He said, boy, I wish I had a few more frets, because a regular banjo ends right here. So he, what he did was, went, he was in New York City, went down to this luthier, very famous one named John Jellicoe, and said, John, could you make some extra frets in my banjo? So he did. He cut it and put some extra frets. And then Pete, that's how Pete invented the long neck banjo. It helps. Part of the reason it's different from guitar, it has this fifth string peg here. So you got... You need the extra frets that way as opposed to just bringing the cake up up here. I don't know if you want that's a little nerdy stuff there for the banjo. Right? Who doesn't love a little banjo knowledge <laughs> on Monday morning? Oh, you know, it's dark. Yes. Yeah. 
Thank you, Pete, and, uh, and Lee, and Lee, and, uh, and Toshi, and the great work that you've done. And um, let's give a shout out to the Clearwater folks who are not able to be out on the river now, uh, bringing thousands and thousands of school children out to, to visit the Great Hudson River, which is out, right out there. And so, uh, if you want to help them, and you have a, a couple of extra shekels, send it to clearwater.org/donate. And uh, and the other course, the other one we talk about always is Why Hunger, the organization my brother Harry lovingly founded so many years ago in 1975. has been doing great work that whole time, and right now it's needed more than ever. Why Hunger, whyhunger.org slash rapid response donate. And they're working really hard to get food to so many people who are hungry now that weren't hungry a few weeks ago. And yet, there, and a few weeks ago, there were already 37 million Americans who were, who were really uh, food insecure. Food insecure. That's right. Food insecure. 12 million of those were children, and there's many more now. So, if you have some extra stuff sent their way, thanks so much. We're going to have a wonderful week this week, and a lot of a lot of great songs, a lot of interesting songs. That one of the nice things about for me doing this is that I'm going back through my my recordings, my 13 family recordings and discovering and rediscovering songs that I hadn't sung in a while. And that's been a great fun. And we're going to do a lot of that, some interesting songs. 
and we'll maybe have a couple of special guests as well. So let's finish up with uh, with the auto harp and uh, and the song has become our theme song in, during these days because we are together apart, a lot of us, but together. Uh, I'm blessed because I'm here with with my fam my family, and we get a chance to sing together. Give me that little this thing here. Oh, we turn that off and we plug it in. Yeah. Those of you who've been watching every day, uh, a couple of days ago, this got broken, but I, I spent some time putting it back together down here with super glue, and and uh, it's holding so far. This is my auto harp. <laughs> Say goodbye. No one today to end. But we will be happy together tomorrow. Together tomorrow again. Together tomorrow. Together tomorrow, my friend. We will be happy together tomorrow. Together tomorrow again. You may walk the rocky road. Our road may twist and bend. We'll share all our stories when we get together. Together tomorrow Share all our stories when we get together, together tomorrow again.